Today in Algebra 1, Chapter 4, Section 6, we are going about to learn about modeling direct variation. The two huge things that you have to know about direct variation is that direct variation graphs must pass through 0, 0, which is the origin, which means that the y-intercept is 0 every single time. Okay, that is huge. That is something that you have to know is that it passes through 0, 0, all direct variation. The second thing that is hugely important to know is that your constant of variation, all that is is the slope, the rise over the run. Okay, we don't need to make everybody think that that's some big hard thing. The constant of variation is just the slope. If we have these two equations, and we need to know whether it's representing direct variation and then tell the constant of variation, we need to put it in y equals. We need to solve for y. So in this first equation, 2x plus y equals 0, we need to take that 2x and move it to the right side of the equation. So that's going to be y equals negative 2x plus 0. You don't have to put that plus 0 on there. Okay, so what would the y-intercept be? Obviously, it would be this 0 right here. So we have the first first uh, thing covered. It's going through 0, 0. Now, what's the constant of variation? It's just the slope. So our constant of variation is negative 2, and our y-intercept okay, is 0. So that's good. Okay, That does represent direct variation. Okay, If we look at the second equation right here, and we put it in y equals, Okay, we've got to move that x to the other side. It's negative on the left side. When we put it on the right side of the equal sign, it's going to be positive. So that's x plus 1. So are we passing through 0, 0? No, immediately. Okay, this is a no because the y-intercept is 1, and our y-intercept has to be 0. So this does not in any way um, represent a direct variation model. Let's look at this first example y equals two-thirds x. Okay, Our y-intercept is zero, and we know that because all direct variation has to ha be passing through zero, zero, have zero as a y-intercept, and also if we were to put plus zero out here, so it was in y equal mx plus b, that would be zero. Okay, Our slope here is we're going to rise two, Okay, so we're going up two, and then we're going to the right three. Okay, Our constant of variation is just the same thing as the slope. Okay, and we can do that again if we want to, rise 2, run 3 again. Okay, and there's your line. So there is an equation that is of direct variation that is graphed. Our second example here, again our y-intercept is 0. Our slope is negative 3, which means we go down 3 into the right one, down 3 into the right one. Or you can go up 3 and back 1 either way. And again, you just draw your line through it. Ooh, pretty crazy looking line there. Okay, and there is your direct variation graph. Again, they go through 0, 0, and then the, the constant of variation is just the slope. Okay, now what if they give you a graph of a direct variation equation? They want you to come up with the equation. Okay, we want it to be in y equals, we need the constant of variation. Remember, the constant of variation is just the slope. So let's count the rise. We know we're starting at 0, 0. The rise is 5. The run is 3. Okay, so we have 5 thirds x. Okay, well that was pretty easy. If we know that it's going through 0, 0, and our x value is 5 and our y value is 3, then it's your constant variation is just the y value over the x value. Okay, let's do another one. y equals, we're going through 0, 0. Okay, so the rise was negative 5. The run was positive 2. So negative 5 over 2. And then we have our x. Our constant of variation is just our slope. And if it's direct variation, we know it's going through 0, 0. So the constant of variation, our slope, is just the y value over the x value. So one last thing that we need to know, okay, the, what we need to know from this lesson is that uh, direct variation must pass through 0, 0. Okay, must pass through 0, 0, which means that b is going to equal 0 and y equal mx plus b, and that our constant of variation is just the slope.
And you can get that slope by taking the y value and putting it over the x value. You'll have a great day.